Hey guys. So I'm Aaron. This is Sheila. You have to figure that out. Um, uh, so just to give a quick background, um, we both grew up in this area. I've been living in Southern California for the last couple of years, and um, just through uh, the internet, found this church and started coming uh, when we were up uh, here visiting family and friends, and I've just been really blessed by it. And um, we decided to commit to this church, and um, we both have some short things to share, um, and the, the two questions that are posed is why Jesus and why NCCF? So for me, um, why Jesus? I'm, I'm struck by two verses specifically in 1 John 4.19, um, and that he loves us um, before we, we even loved him. Uh, and that's something that I've, I've seen a lot, that you know, the love of God, especially that uh, the Lord's been patient with me, and he's been kind to me. And um, we see that in Romans 2, 4, that the Lord's patience and kindness leads us to repentance. And uh, I know there have been a, uh, a lot of times in my life um, where I've wandered from the Lord and um, just been self-sufficient and uh, just thankful that he hasn't given up on me. Um, and leading into YNCCF, <clears throat> I feel like that um, I've served God in my Christian life for a lot of different reasons. Sometimes it's um, just been out of custom, out of fear of hell, wanting to have purpose, and even uh, maybe the, the righteous desire to overcome sin in my life. Um, it's not necessarily all bad things, but at its core, um, I, I want to serve the Lord out of a love for Him. And um, I've realized that uh, this is really something that this church emphasizes. And for my own life, I want to realize more and more how much I've been forgiven and that I can love the Lord more. Um, and I say all that just because I believe, again, that's, this is what the church is here about and, and being a local body of it, living that um, love for him out. It's not about Bible knowledge, uh, clever messages or different individuals that um, uh, might be in, in the leadership, but it's all focused when we all should be focused on loving God. And I was struck by a poem by Annie Johnson Flint called The Way of the Cross, um, which I feel that for my life is something I want to, to live by. It says, some of us stay at the cross, some of us wait at the tomb, quickened and raised with Christ, yet lingering still in the gloom. Some of us <clears throat> bide at the Passover feast with Pentecost all unknown, the triumphs of grace in the heavenly place that our Lord has made our own. If Christ who had died had stopped at the cross, his work had been incomplete. If Christ who was buried and stayed in the tomb, he had only known defeat. But the way of the cross never stops at the cross, and the way of the tomb leads on to victorious grace in the heavenly place where the risen Lord is gone. I hope the Lord makes that true in my life. Like Aaron said, we're really happy to be here and to take this step um, with you all today. So why Jesus? Um, he died for me personally, which I never want to take lightly. And he not only came to save me from hell, but what I'm learning now is to save me from all sin and also the love of earthly things. What the Lord has been teaching me is that Jesus never did anything selfish, and I want to live like that. From Philippians 2, 3 through 5, do nothing from selfish, selfishness or empty conceit, but with humility of mind, let each of you regard one another as more important than himself. Do not merely look out for your own personal interests, but also the interests of others. Have this attitude in yourselves, which was also in Christ Jesus. Uh, which brings me to YNCCF. I have seen this clearly in each of the elders, and it is an honor and blessing to submit to them. This is a family and body who not only teaches the word and the promises and commands of God, but that it's possible to live like Jesus lived. What I'm so grateful for is that everyone is striving to be like Christ, but doesn't pretend to be perfect. Uh, you are honest and work to build each other up and grow together. So I pray that I can be an encouragement and through God's grace and by the power of the Holy Spirit, I believe that God will help me to overcome all temptation to live for myself.